कि कच्छ की वो है क्या किसने किया तमिलनाडु से आगे श्रीलंका के पहले एक तापू किसने किसी दूसरे देश को दे दिया था कब दिया था कहां गई थी क्या ये भारत माता नहीं थी वहां क्या वो मां भारती का अंग नहीं था और इसको भी आपने तोड़ा और कौन था उस समय श्रीमती इंदिरा गांधी के नेतृत्व में हुआ था हाई एवरीबडी वेलकम टू क्यूरियस In a recent parliamentary address on August 10th, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi ignited a renewed discussion about an island that was once ceded from India to Sri Lanka during the regime of Indira Gandhi. The Kachetiu Island is near the India-Sri Lanka border close to Rameshwaram and has become a contentious focal point, sparking a growing call for its reclamation. According to Sri Lankan Ministry of External Affairs website, Kachatiu is a 285 acre uninhabited islet in the Park Strait that was formed due to volcanic eruption in the 14th century. The island strategically important for fishing activities was owned by Raja of Ramnath which is the present Ramanathapuram and later became part of Madras Presidency after the delimitation of Gulf of Mannar and Park Strait during British rule between the then governments of Madras and Ceylon. From 1921 till 1974 Both India and Sri Lanka claimed the Kachatiu Islands for fishing and the island remained disputed until the agreements were signed between both the countries. In 1974, the then Indian Prime Minister Indira Gandhi signed an agreement with the Sri Lankan counterpart Sirimao Bandarnaike called Boundary in the Historic Waters between the two countries and related matters. Under this agreement, the island came under the Sri Lankan territory. Article 4 of the agreement said that each country will have power and control over the waters, island, the ground, under the sea and everything in them within their own borders as defined in the agreement. Article 5 of the agreement allowed for the Indian fishermen and pilgrims to visit the island without requiring to obtain travel visas from Sri Lanka. However, during emergency with the Tamil Nadu government dismissed in 1974 without the consultation of the state assembly and the parliament and their agreement The maritime boundary in the Gulf of Mannar and Bay of Bengal was finalized to determine the boundary in the Gulf of Mannar and Bay of Bengal and restricted both the country's fishermen from fishing in the each other's waters. Article 5 of this agreement made it very clear that each country will have control over the water, the sea close to its land and the islands within its side of the agreed border. In short, fishermen from Tamil Nadu no longer had fishing rights around the island. Following this pivotal accord Indian fishermen were granted restricted access to the Kachatiu island permitted solely for that activities like net drying and participating in the annual St Anthony's festival fishing activities however were expressly prohibited on the island yet despite these stipulations Indian fishermen persisted in venturing toward the Sri Lankan sea border to harvest their catch In the beginning historic fishing rights between Indian and Sri Lankan fishermen were maintained around the island the waters surrounding the island are said to have rich resource of prawns shells pearls oyster and corals the problem turned serious when the fish and the aquatic life in the indian continental shelf depleted resulting in more indian fisher folks entering lankan waters including the kachatiu island and began facing the consequences during the sri lankan civil war this arrangement caused problems with the sri lanka navy which was vigilant to prevent weapon smuggling by the rebel group ltt and it restricted the mobility of its fishermen in certain waters and heavily guarded its maritime border in the park strait after the sri lankan civil war ended in 2009 indian fishermen reportedly saw this as an opportunity and ventured to the kachatiu island this led to the arrest of indian fishermen and seizure of their boats and fishing trawlers Between 2020 and 2022, 501 Indian fishermen were imprisoned by Sri Lanka. 74 Indian fishermen have been arrested by Sri Lanka in 2023 alone, along with the reports of two attacks by the Sri Lankan Navy. In 1991, the Tamil Nadu Assembly adopted a resolution demanding the retrieval of the island of Kachatiu. In June 2011, the new Tamil Nadu government, led by Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu J. Jayalalitha, filed a petition in supreme court that the declaration of 1974 and 1976 agreement between india and sri lanka on ceding of the island to sri lanka were unconstitutional 
the court ruled in the famous berubari case that the cession of indian territory to another country had to be ratified by parliament through the amendment of the constitution and the prime minister led government alone cannot decide on the territorial integrity of the nation however sri lankan government made it clear that any nullification of the agreements by the supreme court of india would not be binding on the sri lankan government the then manmohan singh led indian government has stated that no territory belonging to india was ceded nor sovereignty relinquished since the area was in dispute and had never been demarcated and that the dispute on the status of the island was settled in 1974 by an agreement and both the countries took into account historical evidence and legal aspects kachathiu island is a crucial fishing grounds for tamil nadu fishermen due to its proximity to indian coast this proximity sustains livelihood for many families by offering abundant marine resource and supporting coastal communities The island holds cultural and religious importance particularly for Tamil Nadu fishermen. It hosts the annual St Anthony festival, a significant religious event that attracts devotees from both India and Sri Lanka. The island's religious shrine is an integral part of the cultural fabric for both the local communities. From a strategic perspective, the island's location plays a crucial role in India's maritime security and surveillance efforts. It offers a vantage point for monitoring maritime activities in the Park Strait. and bay of bengal control over the island allows the india to maintain a watchful eye on shipping routes naval movements and potential security threats in the region the island's proximity to sri lanka and its location in the park strait contribute to the geopolitical dynamics of the region maintaining influence over the island strengthens india's position in the broader indian ocean and enhances its roles in the regional affairs In addition to its fisheries, the island may have untapped natural resources including oil and minerals which could contribute to India's economic growth and energy security. Establishment of joint mechanism to regulate fishing activities in the Park Strait, mitigating conflicts between fishermen from both the sides. Introduction of alternative livelihoods for fishermen reducing their dependency on contentious waters. enhanced dialogue and collaboration between india and sri lanka on multiple fronts fostering regional stability acknowledgement of religious and cultural importance of the island ensuring peaceful pilgrimage for devotees from both the nations the kachathiu island stands as an intricate diplomatic cultural and humanitarian issues the india and sri lanka conflict over the island underscores the need for non solutions that consider historical ties legal aspects and well-being of the stakeholders ultimately the path toward re- resolution lies in the mutual understanding cooperation and the pursuit of lasting peace do you think india lost strategic advantage due to the historic blunder do let us know in the comment section join us next time until then stay informed stay curious thank you